Peggy 18. Homefront multiplayer is large-scale warfare. Complete and total bedlam. Epic vehicular warfare. Fast-paced, exciting, and fun. Homefront multiplayer takes place during the occupation wars. This is the time when the Korean army was invading the U.S. after a deadly EMP attack and cyber attack. The remnants of the U.S. military are kind of off still trying to hold on and fight off uh, the Korean invasion as best they can. Battles really take place in, in various locations, from suburban cul-de-sacs to, you know, department stores to a highway interchange, so you get to experience a wider swath of America. The multiplayer design goals really stems from wanting to build a large-scale warfare experience to really be the category leader in that audience. Make it accessible, make it intuitive, but most of all, make it a lot of fun. So you have infantry, you have drones, you have tanks, LAVs, helicopters, all those brought together in the battlefields. There's a lot of action going on. You know, when you play home front, there's a tank rolling in, getting blown up, there's a helicopter overhead. We want to bring all those tools together into a really tight, cohesive package. What we're really trying to do is make the game play different than any FPS that you played before. The whole idea behind vehicles and home front is you should get in and start having fun right away. This is not the kind of game where you need to spend two hours learning how to fly a helicopter. Battlefronts really gives us an in-game economy. So you're doing actions in the game and every one of those actions is earning you points. So battle points basically allows us to put a price on each vehicle, to put a price on every special weapon. Rather than just saying like, oh great, you know, you captured that objective, here's some experience. Uh, we're saying, hey, you captured that objective, that's great, now here's a tank. You can buy everything from tanks, and helicopters, to drones, to additional ammo for your RPG. The idea with battle points is buy what you want, when you want it. So if you're fighting a vehicle and you need a new rocket launcher, you can pick one up right on the fly. The near future setting uh, for Homefront gives us the ability to bring in uh, some near future technology like drones. What drones add to the game is a lot of new and interesting types of ways to, to fight your enemy and to fight them without putting yourself at risk. You know, I may spawn in the game initially and deploy my recon drone and I start marking different targets. Ground control, everyone races for these three objectives. And then when you capture an objective, you start gaining points. Now, when you gain enough points, it'll actually push the whole line over to the enemy section. You're not spread out amongst a vast area. You feel the infantry-style combat, that intense battle for the objective points, as well as have the epic vehicular warfare reign in it. Ground control is different from other objective-based game modes because you get to fight over new spaces. The objectives will move to different locations. And you'll have to use new strategies when you get to those areas. So in essence, you're, you're not just playing on the same map for 12 to 15 minutes. You're playing on two or three different maps because all the gameplay is localized around those objective points. And as players start earning points, you're going to start seeing some tanks on the field, some helicopters. The battlefield evolves in a way that you see something different every minute that you're playing. Homefront is doing dedicated servers. In console games, you can get up to 32 players. In PC, obviously, it's even more important to have dedicated servers. After Homefront ships, I'm probably gonna kick back by playing Homefront and destroying noobs online. It's interesting, as a developer, you have pretty much like one day where you know a lot more than everyone else at the game. After that one day, you're getting your ass kicked like everyone else.